signed by Christina to you at home for $14.50, or you can buy four for $40 plus shipping and handling as part of the Family Sick Channel's 25 Days of Christmas. But today, Christina is going to show us how to paint some easier designs on glass ornaments, so yes. set your VCR. And what do we need for all that? Well, first I want to say that I came into here with uh, Carol's spinach salad. I have to say this is probably the uh, spinach and water chestnut. It's mm -hmm. probably the best salad I have ever eaten. It is so unbelievable. What is the dressing? Because that's an amazing oh. smell. Oh, what are the dressing? It's in our book. Okay, we'll buy our book. Awesome. Okay, what do we, we need to make these ornaments? All right, very simple. You need the glass ornaments that you can get in any craft store. They're very inexpensive. Some acrylic paints that hopefully you have uh, around the house, and if you follow Home and Family every day, you know we use acrylic paint. So hopefully you have just your basic red, white, um, green, and black, blue, uh, and uh, it's, it's very easy. And some brushes. Okay, some I brushes. think you can use fabric paints as well. I think mm -hmm. I've used those in the past. Yes. Okay, how easy is it? It's so easy, and I'm going to show you the technique for painting. I guess I am the test. Yeah, you are. You can do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So this is very simple. I'm going to show you how to make a simple Christmas tree. And all you need is just a very um, a brush that is a little rounded on the top like this. Can we get a good shot of that? All right, your little glass ball. Hold on to it, not from here, because you don't, sometimes this will drop. This will pull out, so hang on to it very tightly over here. And Candace, what we're going to do is we need to have fresh paint here. Okay. Yeah, nice, nice. All right, step here you go. All right, so here we go. I always keep a towel on my shoulder. See? See this? Because I'm always, like, wiping. All right, there you go. <laughs> Some glass. There we go. Now, very simple. What we're going to do is you're going to make a, like, a little triangle, but you don't, a half a triangle. All right? Like that. Okay. You, you can look on the monitor. Okay. And then what you do is you start from the point, and you just make it longer, and you keep repeating it. But you start up at this point again, and you make this one even longer than the last one. And then you keep repeating the process. Start at the point, make that longer, that longer. Can you start to see a, a little bit of the tree coming to life here? Like that? I'm getting my credit card Here we go. <laughs> start, at the <laughs> start at the point, and still make that longer. Let me see yours. Come on over on this side. You can see, because I want to get it to the... Start at the point, and make that even longer. There we go. And it depends on how big you want to make your tree. I'm going to stop right here. Just like that. So there you have your bit. The end is very nice, Kim. It is? Yeah, and so now what I want to do is add a little bit of texture. I want to do the snow. So underneath the tree, I'll add a little bit of snow like that. Okay? Put it over here. And then what I'll normally do is take the points to make, look, make it look like there are little snowflakes on it and just dab little dots all over it. And be sure you include the tree. What I'm going to do is make little pretend ornaments here. And put them on. They look are so cute. What a great project for like uh, brownies or Girl Scouts. You can do it because yeah. it'll take less than two minutes to do this whole ball. And you can do it with your family and the kids. I, got kids. I, I dipped it in red. Look, we make little red dots over here. See that? Isn't that cute? You know what? Gold paint would look cute. Yeah, can we have some gold paint? All right, now I'm going to add just a little bit more. And look, basically there it is. And then you do the same thing on the other side. And if you like, you can do the Christmas tree or you can do a little snowman. The snowman is easy. Everybody knows how to do a snowman. You can give the snowman a red hat or... No, let me see yours. That's adorable. Look, it's very cute, Candace. Seems very cute. It is. Look, yeah. see, you did. Oh, actually, I like yours even better. Is she too? <laughs> <laughs> and then what we do? What, what you can do? No, I really mean. It. <laughs> you see this one here? We did this Christmas tree. We can get a close up of that. What we've done here is we added a pretty plaid bow, or you can add a gold bow like we did. Yeah, I here. do. I love hanging my bulbs, any bulb, with with ribbon yeah. opposed to the the old fashioned hooks. Because your tree looks incredible. That's how you make your tree look uniform. And it blends all your bulbs together by using like one one specific platter. Or what you can do on the other side is add your children's names, add oh, your yeah. name, add Christmas 1996. Oh, you know, with a little message or something to each of your children. That's what these message. paints are good for because you can write with them. These oh. fabric paints. So, so what them. I would do is just put. Well, this one I'll do to Woody. Yeah. Let me see. Woody. 
Christmas present. Good. Present. Okay. Right. I'll buy that. Woody, there we go. And a little message yeah. to your children, whatever. That is cute. Woody, nine to six. And a year That is really there cute. Oh, and you can put glitter on it then too, because that'll look pretty. Thank you, Chris. There you go. But again, if you'd like to have one of Christina's hand hand ornaments, Christmas trees, you can order one in a moment. But I'd like to tell you about it first. This is a three and a half inch glass bulb. These are all hand painted, and I mean they truly are hand painted each and every one by American artisans. They have Christina's signature on them, each and every one of them. And as Christina always does, if you've been with us since the beginning of the show, whenever we do craft projects, she does this checkerboard border on her plates, on her glassware. This is like Christina's signature, and so that's on the bulb. I mean, there is a little uh, log cabin and Christmas tree. Each and every one of these is hand painted. I think you'd be thrilled if, when you saw it in person. The way to take care of these ornaments is by hand washing them. Don't ever soak them. Don't use hot water because it will ruin them. So hand wash them. And for you today, they're $14.50, or you can buy the box for $40 plus shipping and handling. And if you buy them today, we do guarantee that you'll receive them in the center.